Oh. <laughs> Man, these longer titles are rough for me. So hey guys, it's Josh of Palacis Media again, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up custom conversions on Facebook Businessman. Niger. Okay, it's not going to show up. Um, I mentioned this in my last video, and I talked about, or my second last video, or whatever, and I talked about uh, Facebook... Or, uh, uh, <laughs> this is a rough start already. You can tell I'm tired. Uh, I showed you guys how to set up... Um, events, Facebook pixel events, and how to set up a Facebook pixel. And then I told you I would show you how to set up custom conversions. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's just jump right into it. Let's go over to, or you can press custom conversions right there. But for the sake of this, let's go to pixels because you're gonna do a custom conversion for a pixel. And I'm not even gonna bother explaining what it is until we get there. So I'm pretty sure in the last video I mentioned how I didn't have anything set up for my own website. So I figured I would just show you how to do it using my own website. Um, so you come in here to your pixel, and I do actually, I didn't, I didn't uh, check out how to do it. Is it? No, no, no recent activity. Um, I didn't figure out in Wix where I did this, but apparently I do have a pixel, uh, a, a lead event pixel on the, like my, I don't want to say opt-in page, on my contact page right here. So I do have a lead pixel here. This is my website, by the way. Um, so anyways, I'm going to set up a custom conversion. So you come here, you're in your pixels and you can go, uh, let's just go here. Let's go to custom conversions. Oh, why does it keep doing this? Sometimes business manager is wonky as heck. Okay, sweet. So I have none right now in this pixel. So we're going to create custom conversion. And what this is, is as opposed to a lead that'll track, um, well, See, they kind of do the same thing. You can just be more specific with custom conversions. So I do have on this page, right? I could. So if I'm doing a custom conversion, I don't want to do any of the um, Facebook events. I could just come here, add my URL. Um, you would do all URL traffic, contains this, name it, category, forget that, and then boom, create. And that's pretty much the same thing as the Facebook event. Where this differs, um, is going to be so let's say I want that page right I want this pixel to pick up that page and my home page so that or that so when traffic comes to this or this or you know keep adding then it'll pick it up so you can say okay now I have 300 views somewhere dispersed between this page and this page right okay so let's say now you want let's come back here so this is palacismedia.com. That's the whole website, right? So let's say URL contains this, uh, add another rule, and then, but does not contain, because technically all these links contain palacismedia.com, right? So services, palacismedia.com slash services, palacismedia.com slash client testimonials. So if you just typed in palacismedia.com, it's going to take in all the traffic from palacismedia.com. So you could say, but does not contain traffic from this client testimonial page. So let's say you have you know a bunch of purchase pages on your website, and you want to track the, um, you want to track the number of <laughs> number of traffic. Oh, man, I think of what I'm going to say, and before I say it, I realize how stupid it is, and that's why sometimes I'll laugh before it even comes out. My brain goes. Sometimes my mouth goes too fast for my brain. Um, well, that's pretty much what this is. I I don't even know what else to show you because it's rather simple. Um, Oh yeah, you can just choose the choose the pixel here. We're already on the right pixel, Plasma Media, and yeah, that's really it. There's a lot of times where I don't see a use of using custom conversions over the Facebook events since the Facebook events have now become a little more in depth. But you can do this, you know, you name it, select a category, you know, initiate checkout, whatever, set it up. It's gonna pop up over here. Uh, I think I have. I think I have some. I don't think they're active anymore, but I had made some at one point. No? <laughs> Come on. Maybe here. Just so you can see. Yeah, okay, so this is how it'll show up. Um, and then you can always come into it. You can pretty much just check out what's going on. I guess that's another benefit of custom versions over, over events is that 
they kind of have their own page, whereas the events are pretty much. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's go back here. Only place you can really check out the events um, is when you go to, if it ever loads, go here, and then drop down, and it'll show you. So, again, they're, it's a little redundant. I think Facebook's probably going to either increase what you can do with events and just keep it as Facebook events, or maybe ch turn that all into custom conversions. Ah, oh, something went wrong again. Okay, forget it. Anyways, that's what uh, that's how pretty much how it goes. Just like I told you with the events. Okay, now I can't do anything. Just like I told you with the events, make sure you're loading and reloading your page a few times, um, just to make sure that it shows a green little dot to show that it's active. And yeah, honestly, guys, that's pretty much it for custom conversions. I just wanted to give you a quick short video, tell you what they are, how to use them. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you comment below. I'll try my best to answer. You could like, follow, like, follow, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, it would be awesome. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. That's it. Quick one. See you guys.